In this video, we'll learn how to use Excel to perform hypothesis tests for the proportion. Standard normal distribution z-test can be used to test the hypothesis for the proportion. So anytime we perform the hypothesis testing for the proportion, we need to use the z-test. Excel does not have a procedure unless we use the Excel stats or the mega stats add-in to conduct a hypothesis test automatically for a single population proportion. But we can apply the formulas manually to find the p-value. And if the p-value is less than or equal to alpha, which is a significant level, we will reject the no hypothesis. So here we have two steps that we can use to find the p-value. The first step is to find the test statistic z, and it has the formula p hat minus p naught divided by the square root of p naught one minus p naught over n. p hat is the sample proportion, and that is just equal to x over n, and p naught is just the population proportion. And usually this value is taken from the claim and used in a no hypothesis H naught. And N is just the sample size. And X is just the number of the values that have the certain of characteristics that we are looking at. And then the next var, uh, step is to find the P value. Because this is a Z test, so we will use the normal distribution function or uh, the norm.dist function to find the area under the curve and you can have the left tail the right tail or the two tails um, to find the uh, area if you have the two tails we can just get one of the tails and then we multiply by two now how do we use a norm dot dist function this function will take in four inputs the x value the mean the standard deviation and cumulative x is the value of the test statistics this value here on the z axis the mean is equal to zero because this is the standard z distribution and the standard deviation is just equal to one because this is a standard z distribution for cumulative, we can type true or false. If we type true, the function will return the area to the left of the x value. And this is what we want. If we type false, then it will only give you the probability density function at the value of x. But I'm looking at the p-value, so I'm looking at the area, so I should type true for the last argument here okay we can have the left ca uh, tail case for example this one remember zero is always in the center so some negative value on the left here we can find a p-value this area under the curve by using the norm.dist all you do now is you input the value on the z-axis right and that is going to be minus z whatever the value here and then zero is the mean one is a standard deviation and true because i want to find the area on the left of this negative values negative z value so i i type in true for the right tail because i'm looking for the right area i'm looking for the right area so i need to take I don't have a direct function to give me the right area but what I can do is I take one which is the entire area under the curve subtract the area on the left of this plus Z and if I do that I will get the right area after I do the subtraction so norm.dist from the Z plus Z here it will give me the Y area on the left so if I subtract that from one I'll get the right area for the right tail. And again, we multiply by two if we are looking at two tails case. And uh, the reason we can do that is because they are symmetric. The left and the right, they are symmetric. 
so they have the same value we just need to double the value of one of the tails and then to make the conclusion we check for the p-value and the alpha if p-value is less than or equal to alpha we reject the null hypothesis if p-value is bigger than alpha we do not reject the null hypothesis okay let's consider the given uh, below information for this example we want to test the hypothesis using the p-value methods the no hypothesis we say that the proportion is equal to 0 0.25 and for the alternative hypothesis we, we claim that the proportion is greater than 0 0.25 because this is a rated than case this is a right tail or you can see that the arrow is pointing to the right and we are also given the alpha 0 0.05 x is 63 and is 200 so the first thing is we need to find the sample proportion right we can find the sample proportion by using the x divided by n for p hat and that is 63 divided by 200 and that is 0 0.315 you can do this using any regular calculator or using excel and then next we compute the test statistic using the z the test statistic formula p hat minus p naught divided by the square root of p naught one minus p naught over n p naught is this is the claim that we um we have here which is which is 0 0.25 this is the p naught uh, value 0 0.25 the assumption uh, right from the uh, um, the no hypothesis now i plug in p hat 0 0.315 minus p naught 0 0.25 divide by p naught 1 minus p naught and then divide by n which is 200 and that will give me 2.12 is the test statistic this one is positive so it's to the right of zero right zero is in the center so 2.12 is to the right of that and you are looking for the right tail so yeah, I'm looking at the right tail. So that would be the area on the right of 2.112. So this area all the way to the right. Now, how do I find that area? Well, remember, the norm.dist only give you the area on the left. On the left. So I need to find the left area. The left area of 2.112. So left area, and the left area is easy. We can use the function norm dot d d i s t, and I want the left area of the value two point twelve, and the mean it is zero. The standard deviation is one, and for cumulative we want true because I want the left area which is the y area here so that is 0 0.983 and therefore the right area the right area is simply just one one is everything right the entire curve minus the left area the one on the left side and that will leave me the uh, the right area and that is the one we are looking at 0 0.017 and uh, you can do uh, two commands separately or you can just like combine them into one like one minus norm dot dist 2.1201 true and it will give you the same value and because the p-value is less than or equal to alpha alpha is 0 0.05 therefore we reject the null hypothesis